it's time to chill out, get your coffee, and get your slip on. This is the folding slip daily dose. Oh, that kid went on a fucking hoot of a fucking adventure. George no, trust me, me, that drug would fucking make you, like, go further than you've ever gone in a masturbatory rage. <laughs> And then they see this UFO or whatever it is, this diamond-shaped thing. So, and and then three helicopters come whizzing in and everything takes off. I don't know if I buy it, motherfucker. Did Bigfoot come out and tickle somebody's balls? Alright, you hooligans. 40 and slip daily dose starts. Heidi ho people Welcome to the 40 and Slip Daily Dose Episode 27 I don't know what to call this episode It's the It's Another fucking day episode Got up today Saw something pretty fucking funny, which I will be sharing, and read about this tomb that they found for the wife of some fucking pharaoh, I can't pronounce his name all that well, Nefrefrey, Nef, Nef, Nefrefrey, I don't know what the fuck he's called, tonight, down the rabbit hole with David Baddorf will be going down, I do believe. Barring something fucking comes up, I or David get into some weird accident, that should be going down tonight. I will be recording it. I do not know if I will be releasing it tonight, but I will be recording it tonight. David and I will look at life after human beings. I'm not going to give you any more than that. It's just where we're taking it tonight. We were going to do like multiple world theory, I think, the first time. And it didn't come off all that well between the two of us. We started talking about this whole life after people idea. And it went, it took off. It just took off. Between the two of us, like, in a hangout one night, we were just talking. It just took off. And that is the basis for what we're going to do tonight. should be pretty interesting. I have uh, my own little weird theory. And David, of course, will bring what he brings to the table. It should be a fun time for anyone who likes that type of shit. Now, on to the stuff of today. I'm going to take this straight from msn.com, mostly. Uh, Some Czech archaeologists have unearthed the tomb of the queen, believed to have been the wife of, like I said, Nefrefe. Nefrefe. I don't know how to fucking say that name. Pharaoh Nef. Neferifrey? I don't know. How the fuck? Neferifrey. Fifi. Let's just call him Fifi. Pharaoh Fifi. If you want to find out who the fuck it really is, do a little bit of research. Uh, I guess he ruled like fucking four and a half thousand years ago. And they found the tomb of his wife. And they have identified her as Kentakawes. They get some fucking fucked up names for these old people, these ancient people in Egypt. Um, But they had never been able to identify her. They found this this tomb. They found all kinds of other bullshit. Because those Egyptians, they just like to bury all kinds of fucking shit with them when they died. I guess they thought they could take it with them. And my dog, uh, my dog's got to go. 
Well, I, I, as soon as I go, gotta go. It's going with me. That is so fucking selfish. Now, let me just take all this shit that you guys could all use. Yeah, we'll just put it in my humongous tomb. I want to be buried with all my shit. Just fucking all my property. Is there some way that somebody can, like, dig up all the property that I own when I die and just fucking shove it in a hole with me? I want to take it all. Fuck everybody. Nobody's getting anything. You guys can all go screw. (laughs) Fuck. Uh, But they did. They liked to take it with them, those goddamn Egyptians. They loved that shit. Uh, Be interesting. uh, uh, Do a show one of these days on the pyramids and kind of a a take on that. I've never really looked into it to get a, a solid, you know, my take personally on the pyramids. I think there's some fucked up shit that went on. I mean, building them fucking things. Who knows? Another thing I'd like to talk about too, uh, related to that, because a lot of people, you know, claim that the pyramids were built using some weird technology or whatever. Um, and my father had brought this up to me a couple of, a f- couple or a few years ago when I was down in Florida visiting my cousin. There's a thing in Florida uh, that was supposedly built completely by one man called the Coral Castle. And if you've never looked into this, it, it's worth a little bit of your time. Um, supposedly, this guy had all the materials delivered to build this thing. No one ever helped him. He did it all on his own and in secret. And as far as I can tell, that's the story. No one really knows anything else about it. Now, if anybody does and there's something that I don't know, please let me know. But from what I know, what I have uh, had looked into it, th- that's all that people know. Now, n- nothing's solid, nothing's concrete. Uh, a lot of people have suspected that he created a levitation device to be able to levitate the the pieces to create this uh, quote-unquote coral castle. And I don't know the name of the gentleman right off the top of my head. It actually just came into my mind when I was thinking about this whole thing. But that is worth taking a look at. It's an interesting story. Uh, the The structure itself is pretty fucking cool. Yeah, you know, I, I had wanted to go down and take a look at it when I was down there. But unfortunately, I was up near the the top of Florida, and this is at the very bottom. Or it would be northern Florida. This was at very the very southern part of Florida, or near the southern part of Florida. So it would have been a, quite a haul for me to get down there while I was there, and I never got a chance to go down, although I did want to, to check it out. And when I got home, I wound up checking out some, I think a documentary on it, or some fucking weird shit. Yeah, so the, anyway, they uncovered this goddamn Kenta Kawes. She was a queen. She was married to Fifi. And they like to put shit in their tombs. Fun times. From, uh, I found this on io9.com. I'll put the links to these underneath the, the description of the, the video. Uh, someone created a Jaws themed baby bed. This fucking thing. Like, if you want to give your child total psychological horrors for their entire life, I I will put the picture up, obviously, so that you guys can check it out. It's literally a baby bed inside a ship getting swallowed by a shark with the teeth right over the baby. Fucking... She can stay down with two pacifiers in her. Jesus, chief. I so would have done this to my kid, but fuck. I saw this. I laughed my ass off. What a fucking hoot this is. So you should check that out. I mean, I'll show you guys the picture, but you should at least check it out, I guess. And lastly, what I wanted to talk about today. I, for the second time last night, was threatened with a lawsuit for nothing more than saying the truth. This is the second time since I've started doing this show that I have been threatened with a lawsuit. The first time, I I don't know whatever became of the threat because I haven't heard anything since. This is what I'm going to say about it. If someone comes to you with 
the truth and your immediate reaction is to threaten to sue them, I hate to break it to you, but you just told them they were right. If your immediate reaction to the truth that makes you look bad is, I'm going to take you to court. You're a fucking moron. Period. People threatening to sue people over stupid fucking shit is not only ignorant, it's childish, it's fucking pathetic. The first time I got threatened with a lawsuit didn't fucking scare me. This time didn't either. I know I'm well within my rights with the things that I do. I don't lie about people. I don't blatantly slander people. If you've got a problem with shit that I say, don't fucking do shit in public that everyone sees that I can comment on. This has been the 40 and Slip Daily Dose, episode 27. The Go Fuck Yourself Mitchell episode. If you like this shit, click the like button. If you don't, hit the little fucking thumbs down button. Leave a comment, shitty or not. I will respond, generally. <laughs> <laughs>